Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about ATK, YBZ, and this arrest over the weekend in North Carolina, man. Now, a lot of people say that ATK, YBZ, man, and I'm going to just call him YBZ, is Young and Ace's brother. Now, I'm not sure because they got different last names, even though I know that doesn't mean anything. They could still be brothers, right? And he's always with Young and Ace. Now, Young and Ace obviously was busy all weekend because he just dropped his debut album, and he's hopefully looking at some good projections or some good numbers coming out of here, right? Well, it looks like ATKYBZ was actually in North Carolina in a high-speed chase that ended up with a news vehicle getting stolen, like a news reporter's car getting stolen, and people crashing out, hiding in the woods, and getting caught with weapons of mass destruction? What? Okay, this is a wild situation, man. And before we get to the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this whole ATK YBZ situation. Now, YBZ got itself into a little bit of trouble. Now, for those of you who don't know, YBZ is obviously a rapper from Jacksonville with that ATK. Now, he is always with Young and Ace. He's always doing photos with Young and Ace. They're on live a lot together. It's a whole bunch going on with that click, right? They're going up right now. They are off the success of a successful single. Things are looking good for them, right? Young and Ace out there promoting his album and YBZ out here getting in trouble, man. So here's the story. I'm going to be referencing two different stories and the funniest one first. And it's not funny because luckily nobody got hurt. But a lot of people, they went up in arms and I guess they were checking on the safety of this reporter. And he put something on social media. First, he put this out there as a, as a post on, on Twitter or whatnot, right? And it says this. It says, first off, I'm okay. One of the two suspects in the Chatham County manhunt just stole my car and crashed it head on into a state trooper after a short chase. We're shaking up, but we're coming back live and he's shouting out his news organization. Now, he also added a video to that and that'll help me put this into proper context. So let's check out that video. Yeah, just jumped in the freaking car. Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to pop up this live just for you guys. Now, that was the footage taken directly off of one of the news crew's uh, Instagram, or excuse me, their Twitter account. And basically, they're showing their account of things after a car crash took place involving somebody who was allegedly with YBZ. Now, the story itself is wild. So, man, I'm going to be referencing two stories, like I said, so bear with me. In the very first story, it says this, Pittsburgh, North Carolina, the North Carolina State Highway Patrol confirms all four people involved in a high speed pursuit in Chatham County from Saturday have been taken into custody. Caleb Sheffield, a.k.a. YBZ, the last person being sought from the case was taken into custody on Sunday morning. Now, so they're saying basically that YBZ was the last person to get caught up or at least get arrested in this situation. That was a high speed pursuit. Now it continues by saying a third man wanted in connection to a high speed chase in Chatham County on Saturday is also in custody after stealing a WRAL news car and crashing it into a state highway patrol car. The WRAL reporter, Kenan Willard said that the man Marcus Brown came up to him and the photographer, Lucas Nelson, after their 11 p.m. live shot and offered cash for a ride to the gas station. When Willard and Nelson said they couldn't give him a ride, he jumped in the car and drove off on U.S. Highway 64. Now, stop right there. If all that's true, now this is all alleged, right? Man, Marcus Brown wilded, man. <laughs> he basically offered him some money to get into the car and said, forget, th they said, nah, man, we can't. We can't give you a ride for some money, man. You're looking kind of shady. Because that's a shady thing. You know, if somebody just come up to you. Hey, man, here's some money. You give me a ride? You're like, nah, buddy. Uh, I don't think so. He said, forget that. And jumped in their car anyway and took off and ended up crashing into a high uh, highway patrolman in North Carolina. You know what I mean? Now, luckily in that situation, nobody got hurt, right? Well, the story gets in more depth in this next part of it, right? So, 
In this story, it talks about the fact that, you know, the third person was arrested and it talks about the charges. So I'm going to continue. I'm going to start there. It says Brown faces charges of fleeing to elude arrest with a motor vehicle possession of a weapon of mass destruction, larceny of a motor vehicle. The bond for Brown has been set to one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. The fourth man who was arrested on Sunday morning, the Chatham County Sheriff's Office said, has been identified as Caleb Kenyatta Sheffield, 19 years old of Jacksonville. And that's obviously why Beasy. Sheffield faces charges of possession of a weapon of mass destruction, possession of stolen firearm, and resist, obstruct, and delay. His bond is to be determined. Now stop right there. Now, I know you're probably thinking like, what in the world is WMDs? Like, what, how in the world is that being... Ain't no way that they showed up with something like that on them, you know what I mean, in the car. Well, this is what a lot of people are saying, you know what I mean? Now, this is all alleged, is that they had those uh, devices on them that are used to convert weapons from semi-automatic to fully automatic. And they go actually under that same classification as weapons of mass destruction. So it's not like they were walking around with, and I don't want to say this on the video, you know what I mean? But you get my drift, you get my drift. But it looks like YBZ and his crew are in for it, man, or at least have a lot of trouble on their hands. Now, this is how everything allegedly started. It says the chase started around 8.15 Saturday when troopers attempted to pull over a vehicle for speeding 94 miles per hour in a 65 mile per hour zone. Now, stop right there, man. That's wild, bro. They're saying that they were going 94 in a 65. Now, I am no angel. I've sped before. Everybody has, right? And I am not condoning that. But man, if you know that something is on you or you in or you got felons in the car with you or anything like that, God, why in the world be speeding? Dog? Just drive the, the speed limit, man. Don't create any attention, you know? It's already four cats in the car anyway, so I mean, let's continue. The driver failed to stop, leading to a short chase, Trooper said. The chase ended with the vehicle spun out in the median of the US 64 highway, just east of Silver City. The four men inside the vehicle ran off into the surrounding woods. Multiple firearms were discovered during the investigation, troopers said later. Stop right there. So instead of, you know what I'm saying, just pulling over or whatever, they stopped the car and all fled the car. So obviously the police knew something was up right there. They all just ran out of the car in separate directions, hitting the woods, man. So that's how the one cat probably just crept up on the news people and they were just finishing doing a shoot or whatever and they were outside their vehicle and then he asked them for the ride and that whole exchange happens. So to put some context to everything, right? And they said they found multiple firearms after the investigation. So they obviously combed the area after the high-speed chase because now it became a manhunt, right? So now they're looking through the woods. They're like, oh man, look at all these weapons. You know what I mean? Odd that they're here. Not saying that YBZ and them had those weapons. I'm not sure if they're there. Theirs or not, man, they'll have to prove that in court. But obviously, you know, that's going to be tacked onto this situation. Now, the story continues by saying the four people were des were described as armed and wearing dark clothing. The Chatham County Sheriff's Office said they should not be approached if they are seen. A reverse 911 message went out to residents in a two-mile radius from the area asking them to secure their doors, stay inside, and remain vigilant as law enforcement Search the area looking for the for the uh, suspects. And obviously, all four suspects were caught, right? So you had YBZ, he was caught. Then you had another gentleman by the name of Lowry. He was actually caught. And it was a, ju a juvenile that was caught as well. Now, they were caught and arrested. And it looks like everybody has a bond amount set. Now, the person who has the worst situation going is this guy. He's 24. His name is Adrian Lowry. And it, he got that same charge that YBZ and the rest of them got. But it looks like he's also a convicted felon. And, you know, it's, man, it's it's not going to look good for dude, man. Now, this actually took place on Saturday, man. And they were looking for him all the way up until Sunday when they finally caught YBZ as the last person, man. So this is a wild story. This is crazy to say the least. But what do you guys think about this? Do you think that if you get caught with anything, they could, they should use that type of classification? Or does that depend on the, the state's laws? Or is that way over anybody's head to figure out anyway? Or what do you think about YBZ being in North Carolina and them speeding, aka allegedly riding dirty, man? What in the world's going on with that? 
Now, with that, this being your boy, Big Man, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell. So that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace. Oh, yeah. And that Young and Ace album is lit, man. I like that Young and Ace album. I ain't going to lie, man. I gave it a good lesson. And I don't want to end on a sour note. But it's, it's a good album, man. Check it out if you get a chance.